Do you remember the black E46 that I bought about a month ago and label it as the worst BMW on Facebook Marketplace? Yeah, that car. Well, I fixed it kind of, so let's talk about it. So I don't know if I ever talked about what the original plan for this car was, but originally I wanted to pull the engine out of this because I have another E46 that this engine would have been great for. But unfortunately the great engine is what leads me to like not want to pull this car apart. After getting it off the trailer, unloading it, driving around, I put a few miles on this car really, and it's been a terrific car. The engine makes no noises, doesn't leak any fluids, transmission works great, that doesn't leak any fluids, there's no leaking coolant, everything mechanical seems to work as it's supposed to, and it's just been a really terrific car. And the car enthusiast in me is like, I can't, take apart a perfectly good running car to me that just it, it seems like too big of a sacrifice so i was like you know what i was watching adam lz and at the time he was putting together his uh r32 for a safari build and i was like you know what this thing's missing half a quarter panel anyways let's put some off-road tires on it with a lift kit and i actually ordered all that stuff i had a lift kit i had big tires here i was gonna put it on and it clicked on me i'm like why am i doing this to such a good car like I feel like somebody out there could use this vehicle if you remember in the last video I not only cleaned this car up but I also tinted the windows and then this is the quarter panel I was telling you about from a distance it looks really good right like you would think that there's nothing wrong with this quarter panel but it's got a wide body that's not metal that's plastic so as I'm continuously back and forth on the fence about what to do with this car, I'm strolling through Instagram one night and I see there's a guy that ordered a wide body kit and put it on his BMW E46. And so I start looking at the company's account that made his wide body and they sell just the rear quarter panels, right? So I don't need the fronts. My front fenders are fine. I just needed the rears and they were willing to sell that. Now these rear overfenders come from a company called Auto Body Plastics. So fitment on these panels is great, but I would say the one downside to be aware of is that shipment times really weren't that great. Uh, I ordered the panels and I wanna say it took probably two or three weeks to be delivered. Keep in mind, they, they ship out of Poland. And to be honest with you, I am a little bit disappointed because I recorded the entire installation process of these overfenders. But unfortunately, the microphone that I was experimenting with just produced the worst audio quality. And so now that like I'm making millions of dollars off of YouTube videos, I decided to upgrade my mic. So if the audio is superior to all my other videos, that is why. But yeah, guys, I've got the car looking in really good condition. I think overall, this is a sellable car and you guys seem to enjoy when I buy things off Facebook Marketplace, at least that's where like my views are coming from. So I think logically what's gonna make the most amount of sense is to put this car back up on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're coming over from Facebook Marketplace, this is really what you see is what you get. It's uh, from about three to five feet away. It looks really, really good. There are some imperfections. Obviously the rust is still existent. Interior though is in pretty good condition. Engine fires right up. I think it's got like 172,000 miles on it. Fires up, runs nice, clean, smooth. No misfires, nothing. The only thing I would say that I really, really dislike about this car that I wish I could have fixed up before selling it was to replace the windshield, but logically it doesn't make sense. Because uh, to replace this windshield would put me at the point where the car isn't worth it, right? Like, I think in this current condition, this car is probably worth, what, about $1,400? And uh, so if I sink $250, $300 to replace the windshield, it's probably going to still be worth $1,400. So I would have loved to see seen this car get the windshield replaced, but like I said, uh, the math doesn't math. So... This is gonna be the condition that the car gets sold in. Now, like I said, I am a bit upset that the audio for installation of these quarter panels, uh, the, the audio just turned out to be absolute garbage, but I am gonna to try to salvage what I can of the video, and uh, maybe I'll do like a time-lapse with some music behind it, and give you guys what to expect if you decide to put one of these kits uh, on your E46, and I will put the link to where you can get this kit in the description below. But without further ado, let's get to the installation.
But yeah, this is the final version of this car. One thing I didn't put in the time lapse is how I installed this cover here, the rocker panel cover. So the original spots where the uh, side skirt is what it's called, uh, mounts to were rusted out. So what I ended up doing was just putting some holes with some rib nuts in it, which if you're not familiar with what that is, is essentially just a rivet with a threaded uh, center so you can thread bolts in. So yeah, it's got a side skirt on it. It's bolted down. It's not going anywhere. It's painted just as the same as the rear fender arches. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and you made it all the way to the end of this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm so close to hitting the 1000 subscriber mark that I set for myself as a goal for this year. So if you could help me get to that point, I would appreciate it so much. Uh, but it is currently almost 2.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the next video.